Tucked deep in the desert mountains of eastern Egypt, monks at one of the world's oldest monasteries immerse themselves in spirituality much as they have for centuries. This is St. Anthony's Monastery, where monks, normally far removed from the politics of their country, are joining the increasingly assertive tone of many in the minority Christian community, vowing that their voices won't be silenced. The Coptic Orthodox Church, which for decades avoided rocking the boat and relied on backroom dealings with the country's leadership to try to preserve their community's rights, is feeling more and more apprehension under Egypt's Islamist leadership. A mob attack this month on the Cairo Cathedral that serves as the seat of the Coptic Pope brought fears to new heights among Christians, who make up about 10% of the country's 90 million people. This has never happened before since Christianity entered Egypt. This cathedral is the residence of the Coptic Pope. There's been a surge in attacks on Christians and churches in the last two years since the ouster of autocrat Hosni Mubarak. But for Christians, the cathedral violence was especially alarming. Nobody can hide anything now. We have seen a video on social media of a Christian who was set on fire just because he is Christian. All he did was that he is a Christian. This will fuel the anger. Islamist President Mohamed Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood has vowed to promote equality between Egypt's Muslim majority and Christian minority. But Christians have been worried by the growing influence in society and government of Muslim conservatives and hardliners, many of whom rail against Christians and other minorities. In a rare show of direct criticism, Coptic Pope Tawadros II accused Morsi of failing to protect his cathedral, showing just how dire the situation appears to be for Egypt's main religious minority.